Hi and welcome back to the channel. Well, welcome back, I say that, if you're already subscribed. If not, welcome to the channel if it's your first time. Now, if you are already a subscriber, you will know that basically what I try and do is I make some various speaker builds and along with that, I'm trying to review the parts that I'm using. Now, this video is gonna be no exception. I've recently completed um, a much larger floor stand in speaker design, which uh, is up here somewhere, I'll put the link to it. Um, and it's featuring this. This is the Mark Audio CHN 110 full range driver. When comparing the CHN 50 that I've used in a number of builds, you will see the huge difference in size between this and the CHN 110. So if you're gonna take the plunge and go forward with your next build, you'll certainly note that you'll be moving away from the bookshelf or desktop style size speaker, and you're gonna be moving into the realms of a much bigger stand or tower speaker build. Taking a look at the six inch CHN110, we can see that it's a good looking front mounted full range driver that's certainly gonna look good in any build. It's got a steel basket, a silver gray magnesium alloy cone, and if, according to the Mark Audio website, it should have a frequency range of up to 30 kilohertz. And note the Mark Audio range also comes with the phone gaskets and the screws you're gonna to need to fit them to your build. I've decided, as well as a sound test, I'm gonna take some readings with the Dayton Audio DATS V3 to see how they compare with the published parameters. The readings achieved did vary in some aspects from those published, but obviously my room at home won't compare to the test facilities used at the Mark Audio factory. So take these as you will. They may help with your build. You may want to use the published parameters or you may even want to carry out your own. But I did find that the readings, such as the sensitivity, were absolutely spot on. So what are my thoughts on the Mark Audio CHN110 driver? 
Well, personally, my last build was one of my favorites. I think the speakers have got a huge range. And I think if you're working towards a budget, I don't think you can go far wrong with this driver. So in the description below, I have put a link to where you can buy these drivers. Now, the great thing with Mark Audio, not just these drivers, but all the other Mark Audios, is you can find pre-designed plans for speaker builds. So if you really want to get onto with your nice DIY build, take a look at that as well. Now, hopefully you have found this video a little useful. Now, if you have, a subscription would be great. And if that's what you want to do, don't forget to hit that notification bell as well, and you'll be kept up to date of all my other future builds and reviews.